Now that you've thoroughly read the instructions, you are prepared to create your Digo list. But what I'm going to do is create a new list so we can go through the process. So I go down to my lists. And you can see these are called breadcrumbs up here. It shows you where you were at. So if I begin at my library, which is usually the first page that most of you start at, or the page that you try to turn in incorrectly to get the assignment accomplished. So you go to my library, which is your initial page go down to my lists click on my lists and it'll bring up any list that you already have and it'll give you the option to create a new list you're going to create a new list to make sure that you get used to naming everything the right way you're going to go ahead and name this list according to the assignment X exploring digital literacy you're going to make sure that it's public so that way when I go to look at your list I won't be locked out of it and therefore have to send it back to you. Category. It doesn't really matter but we'll say school and education. You don't really need any keywords and you don't need a description but you can type one in if you like. Now add new items will go to the beginning of the list or the end of the list depending on how you like to work you may want to start with it at the end of the list so I'll put it at the end of the list and I'm going to hit create the list ta-da your list should look something like this but it's not real list at this point because you haven't put anything into it so what you're going to have to do is conduct some research now if you remember the assignment states that you are to find resources or web pages for each term on the vocabulary list so you're going to go to your list and you're going to start with the first term which is digital literacy so then you go back to your empty Digo list which that's what this is empty and what you're going to do is you want to add a bookmark to it but you don't have anything bookmarked yet because you have to go to a web page so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google we're going to type in digital literacy you can see I've done this before that's why it's highlighted purple hit return now if you remember from your 10 C's there are ways to make sure that the sites you choose are credible. Here's one that says .gov. Here's one that says .edu. And while this one is from Microsoft, whether you determine it's credible or not is up to you. Another .edu. So we'll go to Digital Literacy Definition Resources, and that's at library.illinois.edu which is a pretty credible site since it's a school or an institution what is digital literacy the answer is right here it could potentially be all of these so we'll go with um, a person's ability to perform tasks effectively in a digital environment literacy includes the ability to read and interpret data to reproduce data and images through digital manipulation and to evaluate and apply new knowledge gained from digital environments. I like that definition the best. And while there's a footnote here, you don't necessarily have to do any additional research, but somewhere down the road, you may want to investigate where that information came from. So what I'm going to do is go up to my toolbar where I should have Digolet installed and saved. I click on Digolet. The Digolet will enable my Google Chrome browser to use its tools. I'm going to pick highlight and turn my cursor into a highlighter. At that point, I'm going to go down to the part that I like, which is a person's ability to perform tasks effectively, EIEIO. I'm going to highlight that part because that's the part that I like the best. Then I'm going to go to bookmark 
to make sure that I have this page bookmarked, which it should automatically include my highlight description. I can put in here Illinois ed edu site for definition of digital literacy. I can add a tag or two. Now I'm going to want to make sure that I add this to my list since that was the whole point of creating the list was to finish the assignment. I click on the down arrow and I'm going to pick exploring digital literacy. Once I click on that I can save my bookmark. At this point I should have it saved but again I said this was an iterative process so what I want you to do is go back to your Deco page and now the key every time you come back to going to your Deco page is to make sure that you refresh it so any changes that have been made will appear. So I'm going to go to the refresh button and click refresh. Lo and behold there is my first highlighted definition and my first URL. That's just to get the list started. Now that I have at least one reference into the list, then I can begin to add sections and start to complete the assignment. But I will cover that in the next video about creating sections.